the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Shalom, dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to our Sunday Reflection, the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We live in a world of promises, and we promise each other so many things on a daily basis. But how often do we fulfill those promises is another question. Yes, all of us have an experience of that. And sometimes people even stop picking our calls or answering to us for fear that we are going to ask them for what they promised us. Our gospel reading today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 28 to 32. And it's this parable Jesus presents to us about two sons. The father asked the first son to go and to work in the garden, and he refused. But later on changed his mind and went. He asked the second son to do the same. And the second son said, yes, dad, I'm going to do, but never went. And Jesus at the end says something. Tax collectors and the prostitutes will make their way to the kingdom of God before you. This is similar to the same warning he gave us last week, that the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Now, remember, at baptism, we made promises to God. And the first promise was that God was going to be the only God in our lives. He was going to be God in our lives. And then we were going to do His will and to follow Him. Now, how many of us have lived up to our baptismal promises? We always hear people say, walk the talk. Yes, walk the talk. That's a common saying among us. How many of us are ready to walk the talk of our baptismal promises? That our words should match our actions and that our actions should speak louder than our words. Because many times we are people of broken promises. Our words sometimes do not match our actions. We say one thing, but we actually mean the other. We say one thing and then we do the other. Being a Christian is us moving from our position to the position of God. Moving from our point of view to the point of view of God. Moving from our opinions to that which God wants. And that is in doing the will of God. Being a Christian is not about rituals. It's not about going to church every day. It's not about uh, religious activities or religious rituals that you carry out every day and you feel you're a Christian. No. It's about the life of God being seen in your daily experience with your brothers and sisters, in your daily living. How are we ready to do that? What we promised at baptism. To leave our old ways behind and follow the way of God. To leave the old ways of hatred and revenge and everything and follow the way of love, of forgiveness, of joy, of happiness. That is what we are expected to do. Not to be like the second son. To make promises which we have made but we cannot fulfill. And that's why last Sunday I was very clear that we can be Christians only in name and our lives are never transformed because of that. We are living in the church but nothing grows in our lives spiritually or positively. Somebody once said that uh, uh, baptism is like somebody who gets a passport to go somewhere, to travel somewhere. So baptism is like our passport to go to heaven. But for, that, for us to travel, we must have a visa to go to any country. So the visa for us going to heaven is doing the will of God, living as God would want, changing our, uh, changing our daily lives, and growing for the many broken promises 
that we have had in our relationship with God, let us ask for forgiveness. We can always realize, like the first son, when he said no, but later on changed his mind, we can always realize that, yes, we have also made mistakes. We've been unfaithful to God because we have created, since our baptism, other gods and we are following them. God of money, God of beauty, God of pride, different gods. Since our baptism, we have created them and we are following them. How can we amend that? Let us realize where we have gone wrong. Go back like the first son and do the will of God. That is the invitation today. And let us realize that God will always be a father for, for all of us. And that's why he's even ready to welcome the prostitutes and tax collectors and harlots. But we must not take that for granted. That we are just Christians. To be complacent. And just following religious practices daily. But with no impact in our lives. That is not the will of God. Sometimes we are praying that God should grant our will. Not actually his will. So we pray for that. For the realization of what God wants. And to make a turn around and follow. And also as we begin this month of, um, of uh, October, let us ask our Mother Mary to intercede for us. It is the month of the Rosary. And the Rosary is about a reflection on the mysteries, on the life of Christ. His, his birth, uh, His ministry, His uh, passion and death, and His resurrection. We reflect on those mysteries together with Mother Mary. That she may intercede for us. So that how who did the will of God faithfully to the end will also help us to do the will of God to the end of our lives. So that we may also be counted among his elect in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon us and remain with us now and forever. Amen. Shalom dear brothers and sisters. I wish you a very wonderful and fruitful month of October. And may Mother Mary continue to intercede for us. Please continue spreading the word. God bless.